Hey guys, Athena here. So another video for you. This one is a Dire Mall North. Now, a couple things to kind of keep in mind. I'm a little late on uploading this video. Uh, this group here are pre-nerf on some of these builds, but I'll go over everything and we'll kind of talk about the route. So before we talk about builds, one thing I want to just mention is, so normally you don't need to grab this Gordok Brute. You also don't have to grab these wolves. You can actually walk in between all of it and you don't pull anything. And you go straight to this boss. Now, we do end up actually wiping here. Uh, what ends up happening is <laughs> they, as you can see over there, IG just popped cooldowns. We uh, blow up all these dogs and they're like, yep, great. We killed the dogs. And I'm like, no, like we don't want to pull there. We need to pull up here and get these beetles. So I pull the beetles and the beetles are a really big threat. Like you need to kill these as soon as possible. Someone asks if someone wants to grab the boon because there is a boon that we do need to grab. However, I asked for them to not leave until the beetles are dead and they went and left. So as they're grabbing the boon, I am taking a shit ton of damage from beetles and we do end up wiping here. Normally this would not happen. Normally you would just kill beetles and you'll continue the route and I'll explain that here in a second. Now, as for our group composition, me is Mana Forge Barrier Tank. Uh, IG is also playing Mana Fiend. Uh, Baba Freak is, I believe in this route, running Kodge. Uh, for Yukra, he is playing Harold's Legacy. And Cap, I'm actually not 100% sure. I'm pretty sure he is uh, playing TG. Playing TG, I'm pretty sure. So these effects actually did just get nerfed a couple days ago. Uh, this video was before that. So we have the boon. We're reset up. So normally you can skip these dogs. You can skip that first ad and you pull the boss. Once you grab boss, you're going to go up, you're going to grab and do the beetles with him and kill the beetles. Once all the beetles are dead, you send someone to go grab the boon. Now, I don't pull more beetles here because we already got the boon and we killed dogs, so we already have extra percent. So we're going to bring the boss, we're going to kill these. Now, we are going to double boss here. Our goal is to ultimately pull two bosses at the same time. However, at this point, I have decided that let's kill the mages first because the mages can be a huge problem and then we'll pull boss after the mages are dead. We also want to use boons here. So that first boon you grab, use it here. You need to kill these bosses as fast as possible, especially the first boss. Um, What's his name? The Moldar. He is a huge time waster. Especially if you're an MFB tank. If you're a parry or a block tank, this boss is a lot less of a problematic. But because parry can't dodge, block, or anything, and it can only get hit, it has a slight chance to miss, he can heal a shit ton. This boss heals every time he auto attacks and can go easily from zero health back up to like 500k if you're not, if you're not careful. So make sure your DPS are focusing this and kill it as soon as possible. Uh, Stomper's not too much. You're just basically cleaving off of him. Uh, healers need to be careful and make sure that they're not getting stunned uh, during the, the mechanics of this fight because this can do a lot of damage to them. But yeah, the reason why I wanted to upload this north is because I think even with our fuck up at the beginning, we were on a 16 minute run here, which is really incredible. Uh, the DPS were on point throughout this entire run. As for mechanics, there's the Blade Storm. If your healer is comfortable with healing your melees, you can heal through it. The Stomp for the Stun. And then the other aspect is that the healer just wants to dispel the tank as soon as possible because the tank actually does get a, a debuff that makes them miss. That's, what, that's what's making my feet uh, screen fuzzy every time. So we see here he's almost dead, right? He's at 18k. He's going to die, surely. He's at 5k. Look at him. Look at that. He's bursting back up. He's back up to 40k. 64. It's ridiculous. This boss just does not want to die. <laughs> so we finally get it killed. Now we're moving Stomper, right? We don't want to ever stop. You, you want to make sure you're always optimizing as much as you can. So with Stomper now, we're going to grab more trash. We're going to grab these trash. Baba grabs the next set of trash for me as well. Now there is a champion here. And this is actually an interesting moment. Normally when you do this route, the timing does not line up well for this. 
normally what happens is when you're doing these bosses, you'll do all this trash that we're currently doing. This is all within the parameters of what we want to do. However, there's a pathing patrol champion that's going to be coming by that we're going to get to as soon as this is dead. And it actually lines up perfectly when we actually do this part now, which is weird. It, I don't, I don't know why. I don't know how it worked up that way, but it's a perfect champion to grab. So we're going to grab it. So I'm about to leave and someone mentions the champion and I'm like, wait, what? There's a champion. And I come back and there is the champion. This is our first champion account. This is the first one uh, that you want to grab. It's the, there are other champions you can grab if you don't get this one, but this one lines up so well. And if you can get this one, I strongly, strongly recommend it. Now, one thing to keep in mind as well with this week for Void is that if you have a really good popular, you can actually do these runs without a popular, or sorry, with a popular and just stack and ignore the affix. But if you don't have one, if you have a Kaj, it's better to just keep moving in and out. So we see a second Void Champion and we're going to pull that Void Champion with it as well. Since this one's almost dead, we're not too worried. We're going to just gonna do double. Be careful with double though, because two Voids can definitely kill you even with a pop, uh, pop comp. So you want to make sure that your healer is comfortable and that your group is being very aware and careful of the, uh, of the voids. Since we have a mage, we can't really move away from this. But mages have really low health. So it is actually a very favorable uh, champion to do. So this is our second. We're also going to grab three more champions here. And this will get all of our champion count done super quick and early. I believe actually the void, <laughs> the void spun in the, um, in the ramp and pulled us through it. So for this boss here, he doesn't really do too much other than anti heal, I believe. Uh, and he also does a spin. So what you really want to keep out is careful of your melees and the rest of it, you're just going to cleave the champion. So I'm going to pull this champion. Now you could move this champion and grab the boss early, but since the champion can take a while and it's got a lot of health and we've got two more that we need to kill, I actually just wait until the boss comes to us so we don't have to have any problems. So we keep DPSing this. Uh, Yakra does an insane burst with Dragon Warrior and uh, takes out my uh, my threat. We grab boss. So we're just going to keep cleaving here, take out the boss with this at the same time. And this is going to be the pattern here. As soon as we kill a champion, I'm going to move the boss, grab the next pack, and we're just going to keep cleaving the boss while we're killing each champion here. So the reason why we did the double boss at the beginning is because one, you can get two bosses at the same time, as well as this allows us now to skip the third boss, which is the uh, guard uh, that does all tank mechanics. He's a huge time waster. And we get to skip captain and captain does a shit ton for time wasting. All right, so once we kill this pack here, we're going to now grab... There's another boon that we're going to grab, as well as we're going to take over the rest of the, cha the champion details. So we come over here, we grab the next boon. So we'll be cleave this here. Also, if you guys are wondering, I did actually stream this live on twitch.tv slash Athena Kai Games. So if you'd like to watch these kind of things live, you should definitely check me out there. Especially right now, I'm doing a lot of Retail Mythic Plus. So if you like retail content, that's kind of what I've been doing a lot lately on stream. So trying not to grab the boon right away, we pick it up. Now we're going to slowly move this over because the next champion is on the left side. Ideally, the goal here, because once we kill this boss with this boon, we're going to be able to grab and two more boons. And we're going to use all three boons on the last double boss. So we're going to go for a very fast like finish here. 
so we're just slowly moving back and forth, leaving the boss. Focusing the champion, as the champion is the biggest problem. If you're wondering why I'm moving back and forth close to walls, it's because IG's playing Mana Fiend and uses Arcane Orb, and we're trying to maximize his damage. So, like, there, he just used Arcane Orb into the wall, so I'm just kind of hoping to keep it together, do as much damage as we can. Oh, yeah, I'm also taking, like, an Armor Shred here, as you can see, so I'm taking a shit ton of damage. But it's worth it. We gotta keep cleaving here. If we're not cleaving, we're wasting time. No single targeting here. All right, now we've got the Brute. Now we're going to bring this champion along. So we have Baba going to the door. Baba opens the door for us. And I bring the champion along at this point. Because our DPS can just keep hitting it. And we need to keep moving at this point. We can't just wait and waste more time. Especially after our first initial death. So with this next pack set, the priorities are Eye, then Warlock. So make sure you have Kicks and CC on the Warlock and the Eye. I put down Earthquake to stun the Warlock, so we don't have to worry about that. Same with the Eye. And then we're going to grab Beetles. I believe I had done a previous run where I actually had grabbed Beetles in this pull as well, and I actually would recommend that way more. But I, I ended up messing it up, so I ended up... Uh, horning grabbing the beetles this way so again we're still cleaving everything right we're cleaving beetles we're cleaving brood together everything's getting cleaved the champion is no time wasted while we're slowly just moving our way around ig has a good window we hit the wall plenty of damage for arcane orb I'm hoping to have Champion dead before we move to the last point, mainly because there's eyes here and then there's the boss. This can get really messy, especially if people are getting pulled around. So we take care of the eye, I kick it, I leave the rest of the DPS. This is the next boom we're gonna grab. Now we have two boons. We have a third one upstairs that we're gonna grab. The boss gets aggro. Don't sweat it if this boss gets aggro. He resets at the top of the ramp. Just bring him along. Ideally, you want to skip this warlock pack. You have to be very careful and walk right up the ramp to skip it. So just be careful. Sometimes it pulls, sometimes it doesn't. But if you can skip it, you want to skip it. Same with this pack here. You can skip these, this pack on the right side. You just have to walk right through the middle. Just be very careful because that eye can cause a lot of problems. You kill this pack, take care of the warlock. I strongly urge not greeting the warlocks. We have greeted the warlocks in the past and we have gotten banished at the worst times and wiped. I recommend bursting the warlocks and then moving on. Unless you have someone very dedicated that you can trust to take care of it. I would not risk it. Here's our third boon. And now we have five minutes to get to the final boss to do three boons all at once. Baba opens the door and we're going to head on through. It's really important to have your healer or um, open the doors when there's safe moments. As this will save time and let you keep moving while you're doing other um, aspects of the fight. This next pack, same thing. Kill the warlock. Burst the Warlock as soon as you can. As soon as that Warlock's done, the pack is nothing. You can just keep on moving. That's what we're doing. We're focusing Warlock. We're going to kill it. Being careful of the Banish mechanic, as that is a pain. All right, and then we're going to keep on moving. If you, Again, if you have someone that you think can handle it and dedicate it to it, then sure. But again, I would never risk the Warlock. I think it, it can cause more problems and lead to wipes. It's too high of a risk for the time save that you would get. 
So now we're going to grab everything all at once and pop three, uh, three boons all at once. Dogs can hurt a lot, by the way. The bleeds can actually do a ton of damage, so just be really careful with that. I can't remember here. We might have actually had a um, threat issue. So we pop all three boons on everyone. No, it was a different run. We had a threat issue where IG ended up dying, I'm pretty sure. This one was not. So we do a big burst and we burn these bosses. If we didn't wipe at the start, I think this would have actually been the time. We have 20 seconds to three chests. We're so close. But we're just a little short. Nah. Overall, really good run. You want to always kill the mage first, by the way. The main reason is he counts as a boss, so very important. And then kill King second. Not too much about this fight. Really just reduced healing on the tank. Uh, he does some big hits, so make sure you have defensives ready. And he'll charge, knock down people that are in, in range. So yeah, guys, this is the Dire Mall North 20. 16 minutes, two, two chests, almost three chests. Should have been better, but you know what happens. I hope you guys liked the video. If you like the video, you know, just leave a like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate it. And like I said, check out my Twitch. Join my Discord. Hang out. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.